Alright, that just made it a little bit closer, didn't it? Just I've been creeping, man. Three wide into turn one. <laughs> Playing to your left there. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Come on, you're gonna right, have to push out. Let's go you're for gonna it. have to let's push out. They're it. gonna be back right corner. Check the right, right side. Right, right, right. Up on top. Yes! One enemy remaining. Back right, you saw her! Back right. Oh, 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 four, four, four. Oh, hold it! Let's go! He's insane! Let's no go! Way. No, no, no! Shot on target. Sarves there for the save. Bangs it downfield. It's going to get cut off. Going for the catch. Gets bumped here, but doesn't get knocked off course. Picks this one up. Great dribble. What a flick. Just under crossbar. Sarve. Great shot. Good evening, fellas. Ladies. Just getting Last through the driver's briefing here. Was blue flags. And oh, hopefully... You know these servers are not auto starting. I was waiting on them to auto start. Um, GTD free practice. That's division one. Okay, so we're waiting for ours to come back up. People are in here. How do, how are people already in there? Uh, blue flags during the race. If you are shown a blue flag, you have one complete lap to move out of the way for the driver hey, behind. How, the best way to do that is to lift on the straight yeah. Interesting. and let the driver that is faster or behind you move around you. I don't know if you guys can see it. Be safe. But do not try to let them buy in a corner. Christmas tree is up. Do not try up. to break early or anything like that. Lift on a straight, stay on your line, and let them drive around you. Go ahead, Travis. Um, I just want, sorry, for the pit lane thing. Um, That's going to drive me nuts. I'm going to have to. Wouldn't it be more beneficial for everyone if we were allowed to tweak like that, that for maybe. qualifying today? Nah. Just because of how long it is, you can't even, even attempt to do two runs. There we go. No, we're going to stay with... um. My forehead's just going to be cut off. I don't want people speeding when they're going to queue up at the end of qualifying. Like the beginning of qualifying um, and causing disagreements. There we go. Maybe so that... Everybody just stay at the pit, that's better. Pit that's speed better. Limiter. Okay. Hey, Jeff. 
Uh, noob question. I couldn't find server password. I have not given it yet. I wait till <laughs> all questions are done. Okay. There we go. We got the Christmas boxes and totes still out. I gotta go put those up in the morning. All right. We're just waiting on the servers like to come up and. Uh, people are giving out the server password. Hmm. All right, uh, Steven. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. I was like, wait, what did I do? Um, got a question about blue flags. So you get shown a blue flag when somebody's coming up behind you that's probably going to lap you, and they're within one second. What? So you have a, a lap to give up your position. What if within that lap you extend the gap to more than a second, so you Hello. maybe extend it out to two seconds? Do you still have to give up your position? No. no. Okay. It, but if you are shown sounds, a blue flag for a consecutive full lap, you are required yeah. Yeah. to give up that position. Okay. Yeah. No once Thanks. once you maintain your gap, then it just kind of resets. All right, uh, Chris. Chris, I just wanted to say I dropped an image in um, Team Series chat of the pit exit. You can see that um, kind of curved white line, and at the end of it, there's Team a series chat. yeah a white line that goes left to right. It's best to not go to the left side of that curved line, and that. And that short white line. Oh yeah, yeah. That's I've yeah. been exiting. Otherwise, like that you anyways. just end up on the apex of turn one, and if someone's there, it's that's trouble. All right, we're just waiting for these servers two, to come sorry. back up. Perfect. Server is up. We need this one. All right. The server password. If I don't have any other questions, last chance for questions. Server password is milk. So the winners of the Indianapolis 500. Perfect. Drink milk as a celebratory drink. And we're racing on it's three. It's on three. Perfect. So milk. Everybody go ahead and join three, up. Three, six, seven. And uh, exit the driver's briefing once you have joined the lobby. So I know that you guys are all good and you're not having issues. Sweet. Good luck, everyone. Good evening, gents. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty oh, good. Welcome back. What is. Oh, that's notifications are turned off. Yeah, it's been a while. I almost couldn't find the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I need some more I water this, before I start. Took this break to decompress. Oh and shit! Get into, I'm supposed. Dude, I'm to... so into Fishing Planet right now. Oh, I know. I've been seeing you stream. Dude, it's freaking great. <laughs> um, did I pin? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just ignore me. I'm trying to type in the. Uh... Oh, you're fine admin shit for but i mean as far as it's totally free and that's fun but i put like 40 bucks into it because i would pay 40 dollars for a game anyway yeah <laughs> totally opened it up it's just it's so much fun nice it's nice when you pay for dlc and it like is actually worth it yeah like, absolutely I, um I bought a DLC, and then actually during my streams this community is great they gifted me like three nice oh uh, Dude, I had one gift to me this little, it's just a $5 pack, but he said, uh, on behalf of Fishing Planet, so hell, he may be part of the development. I don't know. Hey, appreciate it, That's Kid cool. Rocker. Yeah. Good to see you, bud. Hopefully you're doing all right. But anyway, good luck tonight. Hopefully the Rocket League's been going I'm well for you. I'm average 37s, low 38s. Yeah. I was doing a 37.4, I think, with full race fuel, but we'll see how the whole race nice. goes. Nice. Yeah, I, I started doing low fuel runs and was getting to the lower 37s and then i was like well okay these guys are running like 36s to 35s i just need to practice right. some high fuel stuff and then i was cranking up like 37 fives on full fuel yeah once you get into a flow and rhythm that time comes down and then it you can definitely tell your delta goes way down if you start trying to overdrive Mm -hmm. um, I've got my best lap times trying to keep it as smooth as possible. Yeah. Yep. Same and probably true for most tracks, but I feel like this one it seems to be really bad. So yeah, it's like so slick. Doing okay until uh, really that you you'll just end up sliding. Oh damn, track. that sucks. Yeah, even with TC9, I hate man, that I for you. I hate that. Uh, from under me on some. Rocket League's been kind of shit. I haven't been on it in. Yeah, and I feel probably like if you make weeks, a mistake, not longer. you know, like it runs the whole lap. Uh, oh, I feel like yeah. Yeah, I, I keep messing up every t every turn after. With this, into the, into the, the Unite team, yeah. uh, Scarlet and Violet just came well, your out. Your tires get dirty. I didn't really have a place for Rocket League. It's slick, so it's like even it's before then, before Scarlet and Violet, like I still yeah. didn't really have time to do it. And then when I was on, there was nobody ever on. 
to play with, so I was always playing by myself. I'm gonna feel. Oh, oh, oh you guys taking totally for the done. Race? Totally done with the uh, 95. 95. 95. Okay, cool, cool. Because I was doing like I didn't really do a lot of number crunching, but I was doing like 101. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what Armamentario was telling me for 60 minutes uh, with an extra lap and formation lap. Okay. Um. Do the formation lap with the engine map one, or do you lower yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I usually do it with engine map. Still one, wait before Christmas for you to start on the mod. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, well, let me know when you I get it, and uh, I'll add you. Well, add each I, other I don't as friends a lot. on the Switch. Like, I, I don't mess with stuff um, usually when I'm driving. The one exception. I don't know which version you're getting. The, I got Scarlet, so I'll have I all the um, down my TC. Scarlet exclusives. That was the only time I tried. And uh, some of the harder to stuff. evolve Pokemon. So um, if you're like getting yeah. close on your Pokedex and yeah, the only place um, I crash help, it is in Spa. Like I will definitely the, have like the post up chicken. I lower the break bias. It's more the only difficult thing, ones because you know I have time on to the find space. or yeah. uh, evolve. Well, otherwise, like, yeah. I try like you know, Gengar's one where you have to trade with a friend. Like I'll just I'll have like a Gengar ready. Yep. Why am I running that TC? Why am I doing that? The biggest thing I have found that is the Pokemon that spawn in the trees are really hard. And then on hey Dermot, how's it going? I, yeah. Um, I mess currently, my you know, I keep going straight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Uh, currently, my pace is probably mid to high thirty sevens. Uh, we'll see. Did they right, say have the math about enough for for quali? Like waiting in the you know at the exit. I don't see any problem in it as long as you're not like too. As long as you're at the end. Yeah, from what I can tell, you can queue up, but don't speed in the pit lane, dude. Yeah, they said you could actually go all the way down to where you can turn your pit limiter off, but just wait there. Okay. So. And all I right. want to go. From, like, can you overlap with other people, or? Good luck, guys. Yep. Good luck. I'll be back. Sounds good. Am I looking for a win or a podium? Um. <laughs> oh, you think this is season four, Durbin? Um, with the two finishes I've had outside the top twenty, I'm looking to finish inside the top twenty. Um, my pace is like I, I ran a thirty-seven five in like race trim. There's guys that are running thirty fives in this division, which will probably be running thirty sixes in um. Uh, race trim. So, my my goal is to not die and just finish on the lead lap and inside the top 20. Because the guys that were racing the last two weeks before um, I got ran over in the first turn at um, Suzuka and I uh, I hit the curb a couple of times at Nurburgring and spun myself around. But the guys I was racing at before my two incidents ended up finishing top 10 to 15 so i know i have the pace to be a top 10 car if i can stay clean and race with those guys so tonight we're just looking for a top fit uh, top 15 to 20 and then we'll see how the rest of the season goes because i'll have time to i'm gonna have time have to practice and get back in the rhythm i took the whole break off and then we'll see where we fall next season My thought, my thoughts of winning this season after um, the way the last season went, I was like, okay, so we're gonna have a lot of uh, people that are moving up that'll move me to the top of this list. Not realizing that they're also cramming some of the slower D3s down, and then also the new guys that we've already had two of them get pushed into D3. So I'm like middle to the back end of D4. Probably should have been the top of D5, me and Jeff. Because there was a point in the um, point that we were we were both D5. So I'm kind of wishing I had gotten just a little bit worse and went down. But our um, what you call it, our uh, PR uh, stints for Paul Ricard and our. 
ratings from last season kept us in D4. My goal, my uh, other thought was too, since I'm starting, uh, well, I would be starting pretty far back in the pack. I'm not bothering with uh, qualifying tonight. Turn one's going to come packed in because it's a 90 degree turn, and I already know that there's guys that like to go three and four wide into the first corner. Nope. There's there's too many guys that like to go three and four wide, and I've watched enough NASCAR and IndyCar races here to see how quickly that three wide turns into one as they're trying to make a 90 degree turn. I don't want to be 20th or 25th or 30th and then get slammed into and, and wrecked on the first corner. So I'm going to start dead last and let let the bullshit happen in front of me. And if I have to, I'll take the grass and go slowly around it. I did fine in the two races last season that I didn't qualify starting dead last. So, And one of them was I started in the pits, which happened to be even better than starting in the back of the field that race because you guys had that big pile up at Kiwami on the uh, front straightaway. So This might turn out to be a bad idea by the end of it, but we'll see. Kind of interested to see where Jeff's uh, time goes. So there's how many? We got 35. That's not terrible. 35. I've started worse. Jeff's already up to 13. So that's a 37. This is a 38.8 for his first lap. That's a good good starting point. Scusa and White Scarber are new ones. McKinney. He's a controller player. Enda's back. Not not really happy to see that. I was kind of glad that Enda was on D5. One thing I like is not with all the slowest people in the in the field, so it's being nice being with them. Yeah, exactly. That's that's one thing I took as a positive too. Like I loved I loved D four last season, but the fact that we had guys that were ten seconds off of the pole position, like just eh. I just didn't care for it all that much. Damn, what happened, Jeff? Hit a curve, missed a break point. Oh my god, horrible. Damn. Looks like you're going to be joining me at the back, unless you're going to go out for a lap. I don't really want to. <laughs> I feel I you. Mean, to, be, to be honest, I'm like, eh. Okay, yeah, let's just start in the back and see what happens. Yeah, I was looking at the guys in the practice lobby, and I would have been mid-pack anyways, so I'm thinking turn yeah. one's probably better to be first, like, three or four rows, or dead last. So I'm going to go with the dead last tonight. You're going with how many? 90, 93? Uh, I think 95. JB's doing 95. And then one liter on pits. And then now. one liter on pits, yeah. yeah. I think I had... Calculated 98. Because I didn't use to calculate it. Uh, the sim grids calculator. Okay. I was doing 136s for the lap time, and then I uh, in race trim I was doing 2.44 uh, per lap. And that was only on a couple laps, so I might have went down a little bit, but I was just going yeah. conservative. Mine says 2.36 right now. Yeah. But different driving styles, I know. Yeah, I think in race trim I had under 2.4, and I was probably right around 2.4 with it. And I'm always a big fan of having a few extra liters. Yeah, so me too. With the, um, what's 
the Audi or the Honda. I can't remember which one. I always threw a couple extra liters on top of what it said anyways because I liked having the weight at the end of the um, stint on the rear. Always did too because I always laughed when my buddies were trying to get it down to the millimeter of fuel and I'm like, and they run out right at the end. I'm like, nah. Mm -mm. Two extra liters will not hurt your lap times. No. Let's see, 36.2 from Zooch. Gross. Yeah, I know, man. That's just crazy. I mean, I pushed, pushed, pushed just to get in the low 37s. Yeah, let's see. I did a 37.5, so I'd be sitting about 11th right now. With what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, like, yeah, 26 is what I would be looking at if I had qualified my best. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Even if I qualified my best, I'd be at 6 because I did a 37 one something. But gotcha. still, I'd still be 20, you know, I'd be way back there. So, I'm I'm with you just starting the back. And yeah, 26 to 35th is only 10 positions. That's that's not that far back for me. Right. Oh, I don't see, um, I just realized I don't see Ken Millard. Is he in here? Oh no, there he is. Fourteen. There's Unda just got moved up. He's already number four. Yeah, I saw Unda was uh, back in here. Zach Sky is making yeah. his first race this season. Oh, Sky! Yeah, nice. Where was Sky before? I don't know. I can't. Uh, I can't remember what he told me. We were talking last week during the off week. Like, what did he miss and all that? I'm like, well, you missed two good races. Uh, New guys are quick, and then right after the, I said something about the new guys being quick, those uh, two teammates got moved up to D3. Yeah, we still got some quick D4s. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Quite a few All of right. them. We'll have nine minutes to pee, smoke, grow fresh beer, you know, yada yada. Yes, sir. That's why I hated last season when I got moved from D4 Silver to D4 Gold. I was like, no. Because I don't get that little break in between qualifiers. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, so I have to go before D4 Gold and do all my stuff and then hang out for an extra 10 minutes. Anyway, yep. I'll be right back. Sounds good. I'll mute up. All right. Now we're going to watch one of our other teammates qualify here. We're going to watch Ruzik. It was doing low 36s, so he should be, as the first one out here, probably the first one of the golds to put a time in. We also got Chris Lorenzo, who is on the back straight away. So I definitely want to um, keep an eye on the 151 car. Alright, so 36.2 is one original poll is that's a 30 yeah 388 that's like a 37 one yeah there's no way I would have been up there high enough to make a matter and that's a 37 eight so I would have been right here between these guys probably Second. That corner's like the left hander, the straightaway from the left hander to the right hander was a little bit longer. You could actually get on the throttle a second to get enough speed to get to the right hander without slowing down mid corner, but I feel like you can't really get on the gas at all. Because the second you get off you want to be off of it and then it causes your exit to be really slow. Kind of like that one. It's all about playing it patient. All right, we're gonna stand up and stretch. Um, well, uh, we'll wait another. We'll we'll see. We'll see what um.
Chris and uh, JB put on their first couple of laps here. We're going to go ahead and, uh, before we get into the uh, race, we'll do another ad, so we shouldn't have to deal with ads before the end of the race. So JB went to a 30, 36, 9, right off the bat. Soldier, Smith, Drabs. Sodre, Sodre. It's Brazilian. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. But... Joao. I know it's his first name. Joao's got a pretty good time so far. Chris did not. Yeah, he's way down there. Four and a half seconds off, so he did like a 39. He just wanted to get a bank, get a lap in, so he can start running, running it down. Alright, so real quick, I'm going to get up and stretch, I'm going to put an ad on, and we'll be right back. Five more minutes. Got my standing up and stretching in. Ooh, excuse me. I'm tired. Hopefully soon we'll get back into um, some better stream schedules. Holidays and stuff was uh, messing that up. Hey, Cosmic, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. How have you been? I haven't talked to you in a while. Eh. I don't know if you saw my message back to you. I feel that some days. We need to, uh, we need to chat sometime this week. Do some catching up. I wish you guys could just pack pack up and move out here. Moving out this way would be so much better for you. But I know you've got um, the one the one kiddo that uh, doesn't stay with you full time. That would make that whole um, custody thing kind of hard. I know from uh, personal experience that when we moved out here, not that it mattered to me that I didn't see my dad but like a couple of times a year, but during like Christmas break and Christmas break we spent one of the two weeks out up there and then like the summer and uh, we spent like two weeks up there for summer. So it was, and we had to fly from here to Vegas, where he was still at at the time. But then we had family that lived in California, so we drive to California to see them during some parts of that. As like a nine, eight, nine-year-old kid flying with your, you know, two, two and a half year younger sister without parental vision, uh, parental vision, like it was, it was a fucking handful. And then he quit uh, paying child support, so he ended up not having to go anymore. So that was pretty nice. Do hate that uh, 
I didn't at least get to say something and, you know, make amends before uh, he got, uh, before he died a couple years back. But, you know, it is what it is. You drink, 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 and drink, you end up uh, tearing up your body and I can't, can't really do much about that. Catch up soon. Yeah, just let me know when you uh, have some free time this week. I'll probably be busy tomorrow evening, but during the day or the rest of the week I should be pretty free. I think I got most of my work stuff done for the week already too. Unless something crazy comes in between now and the end of the week. JB's up to 4th. 36-1. And it's all out Sunday, Madrama Sunday, no one I cancel last minute, walked in one, didn't do inventory, and nothing said anything else. Damn, that sucks. I mean, th like, they can't understand. They can't understand shit like that. I, I don't know what to tell them. And that's one of those times where it feels like you're just a warm body. You're not really an employee to them. They're like, anybody that can do that can be in that position. As long as there's somebody in that position, it's fine. And that's all they seem to care about. I feel you. Keep digging. You'll find something, I'm sure. Dude, all that, all that shit balances out. Yep, this is exactly how how they are, man. That's why like working for yourself is great, or like working in a an environment where like you don't have to deal with like even if I had a had it where like I went to like the office for like two or three days out of the week, at least having a couple of days where I don't have to go deal with people would be great. Because then I can work at my own pace, I can do my own shit, not be bothered. And I'd be like, oh, why aren't you doing this? Well, that's Joe's job. Like, why is Joe not doing his, his work? Like, don't don't put that on me. I've got all my stuff mm -hmm. caught up, you know? But. I feel you, man. I'm about to catch these hands. I was an amusement manager. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so Jeff's going to start 32nd. I'm going to start 35th. Not a bad. We'll see how the race goes from the back. And we got Ruzik and Lorenzo in fourth and sixth. Very nice. Good qualifying by you and uh, Chris. Yeah, not too bad. Fourth yeah, and sixth. Not, not as good as the uh, practice race that I had yet last night. Oh, really? I qualified on pole. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then immediately got a drive through penalty at third. Uh, start. Oh, you just got like a little too far ahead. Yeah, and then so hard serving that. I got a speeding in the. I got a stop go thirty for speeding in the pits. Oh, oh damn! So within two laps, I went from first to last. <laughs> I feel that. I worked my way back up to like twenty fifth, and then took too much curb on. Um, my wheel dipped into. The curb mm -hmm. and spun me, and I hit a wall and wound up with like a minute worth of damage. Uh, yeah, that ruined my race, but it was very interesting. And because, like, the way they do it, right? That with, order uh, from a different department called me over the radio, and my boss qualifying so like. Tonight. Yes, if you could help on the anyway, practice races, no, I sat there after the first 10 minutes were up, and I was first, Jeez. just like hoping someone else took it. Mm -hmm. and no one else did, and I was like, I really don't want to start this race because I've never done it before. Yeah, I, I think the highest I've started is like fifth, so I would not have any idea what to do that far up. And I forgot to get water. Maybe someone will walk by and I get them to give me some water. <laughs> Yeah, I yell at my son every now and then. Hey, bring me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's 23, so I don't feel so bad. 
he gets one for himself. Yeah. yeah. Thank God he don't I don't like know why that's not working, uh, <laughs> Durbin. Basically, it just sends you to my uh, TikTok page. You can also do... Um, is this, this one working? Hmm. For whatever reason, it looks like Streamlabs is not working. Okay. I'll have to fix those after. But basically, a TikTok, luck, I've just Pete. been uh, putting Pokemon Unite good luck in T1. Um, stuff up there. <laughs> yeah, good luck, everybody. Um, but yeah, I've been just putting like my clips from Pokemon Unite on my TikTok. Always get a get a, this a little bit of work. BW, BMW Hunter. Like, no matter what I do. I feel that. Oh, you got, yeah, I see the, you got. Oh, Space Baker, yeah. Space Baker right in front always, of you. Always. Always right. Always near him. Yeah. I feel that cosmic. There's been, there's been places where I've. They, like, make you. They give you the, uh. They go to you first, instead. There you go. Thanks, thanks, Cosmic, for grabbing that. Yeah, this it's almost all Pokemon stuff, uh, Durbin. I don't know if you care too much about Pokemon. There are a few clips from Rocket League, Apex, and there's a couple of uh, clips from uh, ACC as well. I've got a pit stop one that I did and a couple of passes uh, that I caught that were pretty good. Appreciate it. I think a lot of the um, stuff's probably messed up because I haven't been on in a while. Probably reset or something. Appreciate it, Durbin. Oh, I got both the Lexus boys in front of me. Oh, you got Space Baker and uh, Browning. Brown. Yeah. Not a good track for the Lexus, maybe. I see like Donahue, or not Donahue, but uh, his teammates way back here in the back too. Appreciate it, Cosmic. Do our best here. I'm trying to get these tires warmed up here. What setup? I'm using one of the, um, the Go setups. I found like they're safe. And then I took a little bit of front spring like the front springs were max and the rear springs were men. I took one click out of the fronts to make it a little bit softer and I tightened up the rear one click and it seemed to help me a little bit better. Um, basically, I've just been using whatever the guys have been uh, com commenting on and saying that was working for them. And they've been talking about the go setups. So I just tried a couple of them out until one started working. This guy to get it in front of me. He's come on. I know we got a little bit of time, but need to get working on it. See what we get here. Tobias, you need to go somewhere else with that, please. Good luck, have fun, guys. Good luck. Car's already getting sideways. God damn it. Oh, 
Fucking bullshit again. Wrecking on the front straightaway here. Oh fuck! God damn it! Well, there's my race already. That sucks, man. Literally, as I see the car, the wreck, the guy doesn't hold his fucking uh, brakes. Um. The McLaren and the Honda. I see Doc also down below me there. Um, I think it's Doc. The McLaren was uh, trying to get side by side with him, and I guess he pinched the guy and the, smacked the guy into the wall. I'm assuming it's Doc because he's way off pace. And um, they didn't hold their brakes, so they just slid straight across the track, and I was literally getting on the gas, and I had a car next to me. Or beside kind of beside me and behind me so I really couldn't go anywhere but you know that's exactly what I was trying to avoid from the first lap by starting at the back and then I mean I made it up to like 25th there and then instantly just gone this this season has been already a fucking shit show because you got people that are like so impatient that they can't wait one more corner or one more lap before they start doing something. So I'm gonna lose. I'm losing two laps now. That was three, three and a half minutes of damage. I'm losing two laps to um, sitting in this pit. Then I'm gonna lose another fucking lap because it takes a minute to get down the pit lane. So I'm literally, I'm literally three laps down before I even get started. The only good thing that comes out of it is whichever one of them started the, uh, the wreck, if it, they're both at fault, someone's getting uh, penalized, but it doesn't help me tonight. And considering I haven't streamed or raced in two weeks, like I want I want to race, otherwise I'd probably just tell you guys goodnight and uh, we'll see you next time for something, but I want to get some laps in. Yeah, Miley. My A, whatever his name is down there. You know, they're just both sitting in the pits waiting for all that damage. And I couldn't let up either because the two Lexus that were right near me would have probably ran into me anyway. Oh, fuck you, Ken. Seems like JB's having issues with Ken Miller. I don't see, um... Nope. Yeah, there's no way that it actually helps me. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't get time taken off of my, um, my finish. Whereas, like, he'll get penalized, and then he'll get penalized next race, too. Like, so he'll, he'll lose... He'll lose time in this race. I don't know what they penalize for this race, but he'll get penalized some in this race. And then um, next race, he'll get a 30 second pit uh, violation. There we go. I'm 
make sure my pit limiter is on. Yep, so that's two laps that we've lost. And it looks like Doc is the... this Honda here was probably involved in it. Doesn't look like he took any damage. So he's probably the one that hit the McLaren, pinched it. When it pinched, it bounced off and ran into me. We'll have to go back and watch it after. I see Miley is not even still not moving, so he has more damage than I did. Or he just said, fuck it, I'm not racing anymore. There we go. Drive through penalty on top of it. So two and a half laps. We'll be three and a half laps down. Because you can't tell if your fucking pit limiter is on. I'll we'll just go ahead and take it because it. We got Masano in the wet next week too. Like that's that's gonna be terrifying. People are like, oh this D4 has been relatively clean. No, people just haven't done enough stupid shit to get penalized for it. There's been some dumb moves, they've just been able to get away with it. A drive through. Okay. So we're two and a half laps down. This is about to be three. Oh, Miley is back on the track, it looks like, or he quit. Shit, shit. Sorry, sorry. Drive through for speeding, because the, you know, when you return to garage, it doesn't put your uh, pit limiter on, so the second I gassed it, I had to flick the, pin, the pit limiter on. Could, could you give me some water? Please? I forgot. No, just water. Alright, I'm coming out right in the middle of this group, too. I'm just going to pull up to the side here. I'm trying to let this first pack go. Now we're just going to follow in here with these guys. Thanks. Here, it's three laps and some change down. Change tires, it's off, okay. That's all we need to know. McLaren up there is pretty slidey. Yeah, 
And he's gonna have to catch me first. Another car off. That's exceeding track limits? What? So why is that a why does that clean on your lap then? If that's exceeding track limits, that's so dumb. So it doesn't dirty your lap, but it counts as track limits. Interesting. I'm sure that does too. Yeah. Pick some of the worst fucking uh, times of day for these races. Like, Nurburgring was a night race, but it was still bright. This race should be like a little bit earlier in the day, not 5:17. Like, why couldn't they done it at like two or three in the afternoon? Makes no sense. I complain to management after this. As long as I'm not checking up for these cars in front of me, the cars behind me aren't actually catching. That's not exceeding. It's okay. I went too. I went over the double whites or the, the striped white line. Two on my first actual fastest lap. Lorenzo. Damn. Let's go, Sky. Good job. Getting two or three of them there. Sky is running the livery. Oh, that was livery you would have been running.
I don't know why I shifted up to fifth there. I can say that this car has been something. We're going to be spending the uh, time off during the Christmas break uh, testing for next season because I want I want to really have a good shot at some wins next season. Honda went from the Mercedes to the Honda. That sounds. Oh my god. Let Gitesh get by so he can go ahead and have a battle with those guys. We got five seconds to the next car, so we shouldn't have to worry about <clears throat> anybody for a while.
this, I'm catching Gitesh. Like, he's so bad. On the straightaway. Like, we're in the same car, and I'm catching him like he's going still. guys doing next lap is pits I think Maybe about 20 seconds on this one Slap and then and a half. Waiting for Under to send it underneath me here into this next corner. I don't know where that Porsche went. Lord Gitesh, you are awfully slow, my friend. get to move to the pits after this. Unless Kitesh goes into the pits. The car you. I don't want to come out with him. Tire change. We got four tenths of second damage. Okay. I like how it was the third pit stall in, but my pits are right here. I guess you gotta use the ones before the um, start finish line. Uh, I was a little short. That's fine. It's not really going to matter at this point. We're three laps down. The only car I'm really racing is uh, Miley. For whatever reason, if we have to pit again. Alright, well, and another... I see you haven't really made up any positions, JB. I was up in like 24th. I forgot to turn off fixing damage, so oh, it no. stops a little fucking longer. Oh fuck! Shit. Uh oh. I didn't hit the mark on the pit stop. Oh, so I tried to turn on my car, turn on the engine, and I just sat there waiting, thinking they were working on my car. They weren't. Fuck. Damn. I hate this raid. Same. 
after sitting in the uh, pits for three minutes. Unless people start leaving, I literally can't make up any spots. already gone, right? Now he's right behind me. The leaders really got about what, 30 seconds on the rest of the field right now. Wonder if Shroud gets uh, bumped. I can't remember what he's finished before now. I know that's not how you take that corner. Go ahead and give him the spot because I'm not really worried about the leaders at this point. Because the leaders will be pitting in then the next lap or two. So as long as I can keep within a couple of seconds. Oh. Be fine. That was quite the accident. I saw a indicator pop up. Did you avoid it at least? Yep. That's good. I watched it happen in front of me. Mm. And I gained a few positions from it. Nice. I like to hear that. Back into 38s again. If I wasn't racing on a bruised ego here after being wiped out on lap one I'd probably be running 37s but I mean there's what it's 
so dumb. But I mean, there's literally nothing to race for. I know I'm not getting fastest lap, I'm not making up any positions. Yep, saw that coming. These guys are just racing like idiots around here. Like, that's not a corner that I would be wanting to try to make a move in. Honestly. Schultz has to stop and go 30. That's going to be painful. too slow through here I would cause myself to overturn get in that grass a little bit should be able to pull away from these guys behind me Briggs, Donahue, Zooch Boonstra disqualified. Well, I should get two positions then. Great. Instead of getting 34th, I should get 33rd. To go with my 21st and 23rd or whatever the fuck I got before. I was hoping to put on a good season to make a run for the team title again, but literally just had no luck this season at all. It's so bad. I've hit curbs, taking myself out. Been bumped off track and wrecked. Cars just being sideways across the road in front of me. Pit pit stop penalties to add on top of all the crap. Like, holy man. Sky, Smith, these guys are all, this is top 10. And we all know that I can race around Sky. He was, A, my teammate won the first season we ran. And then last season I outscored him every race. So. I just figure out what, what the issue is with this car and why I'm, a, starting so far back on, on like the two weeks that I qualified, and B, just being so far off of pace at the beginning of the week, I guess. We'll, uh, maybe we'll make up something for the rest of the season.
Browning started. Oh, that's not Browning. Brown. Brown is the Lexus driver. Browning is the McLaren driver. Got that mixed up. Tire pressure seemed good at least. One more lap, looks like, and then I'll have 33rd from Bonestra, but again, what does it fucking matter at this point? Finishing this far back, points don't really matter. Ruins our team points, ruins my points. This is currently going to be my drop week, but I mean... What's 33rd when you already have 2 plus 20 races too? Quit driving off the track, I'd catch these guys in front of me. Good good for fucking Sky though. First wake back, he's running near the top ten. Happy to see that for him. Boonstra's and these guys behind me are not catching me. Have to hand his shorts from me though. I mean, he's showing orange, so he's at least a lap ahead of me. Which is kind of annoying, because at least if he was on the same lap, I'd have something to fight for. And knowing I gotta pass him twice in 17 minutes. Unless people did DC here. That's the end of my going up positions for the night.
Oh, it's the Mercedes that started in the back next to me. What? I got a track warning for being sideways off track? Like, that's... That's more shit. to worry about Schultz. Well, at least we're hitting some 37s. Not even a 37. Fuck you, game.
feel like I haven't blinked in 30 minutes, 40 minutes. These guys in front of me aren't going anywhere. I quit driving like an idiot off the track and late braking and actually catch him. Looks like we ran on in the middle of an ad. Zach, don't let this dragon sky get in front of you. It's half the reason why I didn't stay for the damn coaching session. Dude wouldn't shut the fuck up about stupid shit that didn't matter. Like, let's spend 40 minutes on the first two corners of the fucking track. the shit you're asking about we could have done the whole track you could have went back and been like hey what about this
Okay, four more laps. Finally, a good run through there. Is the uh, 109 car. Up in his yeah. name. There's later in on the track. Oh, so I got this one and another one. So he's already like part of the way through this lap.
Good, that means we got this one and one more. Thank God. I breaked way too early there. Jeez. Kind of focus, need to blink. I mean, these guys are running 38 fours at the end of the race. Well, hopefully, somewhere in the multiverse, I'm having a good night. Even if I had just been spun out at the beginning and not fully wiped, I would have been able to make a decent run out of it. I look at JB's. Like, probably mid 20s. Jeff isn't too far from him in position either. I don't see him on track though, that's the thing. did my best. I wish I could say that. Alright. Well. Good, I guess. Do we have anybody streaming? Crunches is streaming. Um. Make sure I got it build correctly. We're going to send her the rage. She's streaming some Unite. Uh, we're going to go do this. Yeah. Um, replay review real quick. And then I'm going to bed. Alright, so we don't need highlights. Alright, well, thanks for stopping by, everybody. Sorry it wasn't a better showing, but, you know, can't do anything with that. We shall see you next time. Keep an eye out. And we'll be streaming soon. Bye.